When you're shopping for knives, one of the things you might hear about is the knife's tang. That is, how is the blade attached to the handle? And there are lots of different ways to do it. This, Morataka, has a Japanese-style wa handle. And this handle has a little cavity carved out. And if we were to take this blade out of the handle, you would see that the tang of the knife looks something like this. It's another piece of metal, usually a different type of steel that's not as expensive as the steel being used for the blade itself, attached on that hooks in. And that's what gives you a connection between the blade and the handle for that. And the reason for that is that knife steel is expensive and precious. So you want to use it economically. These style of knives are not meant to be meat cleavers. They can use just a small extension into the handle, and they've got plenty of strength for the tasks that they're built for. This Wusthof, on the other hand, uses a different style, known as full tang. So you can see, revealed by the handle, that the spine of the knife actually goes all the way through. And this is so that you are inspired with confidence when you're whacking through chicken bones or cutting really hard foods uh, that apply a lot of torque against the handle of this knife. But how about an ultrasonic knife? Well, we don't have the luxury of full tang construction because our handle has to fit a bunch of working parts. But it's still really important that you can use this knife for all your tasks in the kitchen. And so we poured a ton of engineering in making sure that the connection between the handle and the knife was gonna stand up to abuse. How tough is this connection? Let me show you. This is an earlier prototype with a different blade finish, uh, but the same internal construction. I grabbed this because I'm about to abuse it. This is a normal scale that just measures in pounds. Let's see how much force I can apply with my hand. That's one hand. And that's two with all of the force that I can summon. Now, I'm cranking on this knife as hard as I can with all my strength and body weight, and the handle doesn't budge. So it ought to be strong enough for your cooking tasks at home. I've attached the knife to my lab assistant, J. Robot Choppenheimer, who has significantly more arm strength than I do. Now let's lower the knife down onto the scale very slowly and see how much force we can get. We're crossing 13 pounds. 28 pounds, that's about as much as I could apply with one hand. At 35 pounds, that's more than I could apply with both hands. All right, we're north of 50 pounds. That is more than I could possibly do with both arms if I were really trying. So let's see how the blade survived. There we go. Same as new, not a crack, nothing. Perfect shape.